Hello everyone, I'm Ed Cronin, known as Cronin Webb. I'm the owner of First Step to Losing Weight. Today I have with me KK, as you see her picture there uh, in front of you, to the left bottom corner. Uh, she wrote an article that I really liked and I published it here at the website and it's called Discover the Best Healthy Diet Plan for You. Hey KK, how are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. And she's well, and that's the main thing. I'm glad to hear that, KK. She's a wonderful author and writer uh, of, of subjects, and especially the weight loss, because she's experienced it herself. Her story is really interesting. And we'll be uh, publishing her articles and information about weight loss uh, as time goes by. KK, I noticed that you stated here that it is your own responsibility to discover the best healthy diet plan for you meaning that people need to be responsible. But what what caused you to think that way? Well, you know, there was a time that I didn't know what was the right food to eat or the right amount of food to eat or what was the best way to prepare the food for me to eat. So it it's, comes down to each other's um, knowledge base and commitment to losing the weight. So it, do, it does truly start with, with us, each one of us. Well, that's good. Uh, that kind of meets the old cliche, if it's to be, it's up to me. And with you, that was a true statement many, many years ago uh, when you decided to lose that 100 pounds. Is that correct? Yes, I spent 11 months and I worked sincerely worked for this weight loss. So I wanted to make sure that it was going to last. And there's really only one way to do that. You have to determine what your threshold is. You have to make commitments about not eating certain foods because they are really bad for you. That's correct. And uh, what what I noticed in my weight loss, and uh, of course my background, I started out as a bodybuilder as a young man. And so in that effort, uh, I was able to learn a, a lot in the earlier days of what we then only knew. And of course, times change, information change, uh, and so therefore uh, it's a real needful uh, tool here at the website to give up-to-date information as we discovered and of course we get people's uh, comments and replies and we try to you know reply back to them. Uh, KK I noticed you know you told me this off the air that uh, you had over the last 12 years had some health problems and uh, you had to have some surgeries and so forth and so on and we all have good and bad habits but one habit that we must uh, learn and, 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 and get it in our minds is that we have a diet and it's either good or bad for us correct that's right now that that thought just in your mind would be called this day and time Almost a, a person has to have a paradigm shift in their mind that we must see our diet not as something we can go on, but something that we practice each and every day. And in your article, you're going to share 12 uh, common sense uh, points of view about being responsible for your own diet. That's correct? Yes, it sure is. Now, you used some of those uh, many years ago to lose your 100 pounds, didn't you? Yes, I did. That's fantastic. Well, life has a way of uh, testing what we're doing or not doing. What's your weight today? I weigh 128 pounds today. Wow, that that's awesome. Uh, that and if I remember right, the hundred when you lost 100 pounds, what was your weight then? Your top weight? Uh, 275 pounds. So you lost down to 175 pounds, and then since then you've lost another 50 pounds, basically. Yes. So uh, you must have learned a little more about uh, how to maintain your weight, but stress in life will uh, cause people to have to endure life, and sometimes we do lose the wrong weight, the wrong type of weight that's not healthy weight. Is that correct? It certainly is. You you was a, a victim a little bit of that, losing some of that unhealthy weight, weren't you? Uh, for much of that 11 months, I lost the wrong weight. And, and then later in life, you, you began to try to, I guess you would say, uh, 
I had to learn to be responsible for the little decisions about eating and a uh, level of physical activity so that I could have success because I didn't want to lose it and then gain it back and add a few pounds to it. That would be called yo-yo diet. You know? That's right. And back then, you, you, the information you have really, you know, since then there's been a lot of new research and so forth and so you was able to actually lose more weight but uh, in your words you practice the research the new research you learn more information and you begin to implement the what you would say the the new research concerning weight loss and you were able to lose another 50 pounds yes yeah and so well look appreciate you coming on today uh, always glad to have you we all enjoy, enjoy enjoy your uh, writings your uh, a great author of your knowledge and, and putting it out there for people is unselfish and we thank and you we'll a lot. see you, you online all right bye bye bye